Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today we have the last weapon, the weapon number 4 from those mutated packs that we are getting after completion of mutated events and this is Longshot, the Longshot, the Sniper, the last weapon from the pack and what is it? Longshot comes with following 3 legendary effects, instigating, which is double damage it's if target is full health, 25% damage while aiming and hits have a chance to generate a stealth field. First two effects, awesome. The third one, in my experience, not really useful, but it's there. It's better than nothing, I need to say that. It is definitely better than nothing. So very good two effects. It is a sniper rifle. I have it modified here for maximum damage and my favorite mods for using as a sniper, which is prime receiver for damage, a line long barrel, a line stock, that's because if I use it in VATS it will be cheaper, perforating magazine, full armor penetration, full damage, short scope, because that's my favorite scope for aiming, and suppressor, and then I applied Nuka Cola Classic paint, I really like this paint, red. Red and black looks really good, a little bit of grey too, so I like this paint. The damage on the weapon card, I'm on my sniper build, so that's a bloodied sniper build, 248 damage. And now how it performs. We'll start with super mutants as those enemies are quite tough, what make it for a good test subject. Shooting in a torso. I'm getting over half of their health. I don't know why he decided to regenerate, so it's two shots if I'm going after the Terzo. This weapon, unfortunately, is firing slowly if I go after the head. First I need to hit it. It is one shot, so I need to say performance is there. The doggo tend to survive, somehow doggos are tougher. But after my adrenaline will stack up, it will be even easier. As you can see, the damage is going up. The damage number. Now, if I use VATS to do a headshot, it's enough now. With enough adrenaline stack, I can go real fast with a VATS shot. But then if I'm going after the VATS, obviously I have no benefits from damage while aiming. The good news here is you can actually get a benefit from damage while aiming and VATS. It is tricky though, it's not really something you'll be able to do all the time, but it is possible. So I have 1093 damage to the head if I shoot without aiming on those super mutants. Now, how to go higher, how to get this damage while aiming? The point is you need to aim, then when you release your aim as fast as possible, VATS and hit. And you are able to see it was with a bonus, 1141 damage. So it is possible, you just need to aim first, then release and quick VATS. Yes, so that's an answer. You can use it in VATS, but in most cases it's powerful enough, so VATS itself will kill with the headshot. Now about sniping, you say I'm using it in close corridors and it's not really the sniper use case. And the problem is... In Fallout 76, all weapon lose damage like crazy with wrench. Even if you use the perk that's called long shot. So I have long shot, long shot. <laughs> the weapon is called long shot and perk is called long shot. That increase the wrench, the, the full damage wrench by 30% when aiming down scopes. Now let me show you if I will be shooting farther away. Like let's say this flying scorch beast. Oh, she flew away outside of maximum range of this weapon now. As you can see, I shoot nothing. Oh, now in range. And look at the damage. That's very little because she's just too far. She's inside maximum range, but well outside effective range of the weapon. So I'm, I'm barely getting damage and killing a flying scorch beast with a sniper is a huge challenge. So you can see I'm getting really low damage. It's it's as well hard to aim. I could use VATS and then if I go for a critical, oh, if it 
do not fail to register. But if I go after the critical, you can see the damage is indeed higher. And she really tries to eat me. Leave me alone, everyone. Now, normally from this range, if I shoot a Scourge, even in a Torso, it's a dead Scourge. Now the difference, if I will be too far away, you will see how much damage I will lose. Now this Scourge is over there, I shoot it in a Torso, still dies, but you can see the damage fall off. If I shoot a Scourge that are farther away, they didn't even properly render, it's the damage drop of barely 266. Second shot, not even enough. It's like half health still and running away. There is Scorch a little bit closer. Just close enough to kill him. So that's like the maximum range from here to there when I'm still doing damage. Like over there, this Scorch slowly approaching the range, but still look at that 200 damage. It's like less than half. Now 358. So you can see how the damage changes with range. 552 because this one was close already. So from 550 to the torso, if if enemies over there, I'm dropping to 200. So that's the problem with a snipers. That is absolutely the normal range that you would consider for a sniper, at least what I would consider as no normal range for a sniping. I would not expect to lose more than half of my damage with the long shot perk equipped. That's important. Without the long shot perk, I will start losing damage from in here. So it is a problem for all the snipers. Now to summarize everything, this weapon is great as you can one shot level 100 super mutants in the West tech, but it's bigger, biggest competition is Gauss rifle sniper. This sniper, offers 210 range versus 198. So it's better range to start with and almost double damage per shot. About how fast you can fire, that would be the only difference between the two and the fact that this requires charging for full damage. So let me demonstrate how fast I can fire five shots with long shot, five shots with Gauss. So let's reload aim and I'm firing once, twice, third shot, fourth, fifth shot. For comparison, twice as much damage per shot and I will be doing five shots as well because the clip is the same and with charging. One, two, three, four, five full charge on all those shots it's almost basically almost the same twice the damage and just because of that i love gauss rifle so much more but still long shot if i would be into farming 308 ultra sight ammo in daily ops or something like that perfect solution one bullet per kill per regular mobs and drops a lot of ultra sight 308 inside daily ops to then fit like ultra sight light machine gun with that. So this is an option definitely for farming ammo. Is it the best sniper? It is not. Is it a really good sniper? It is a really good sniper. So now please let me know what you think. Do you play with this sniper? How much do you like it? Do you prefer that over the Gauss? Or do you prefer Gauss over the hunting rifle sniper? Let me know that and now as always Thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.